really, I just didn't. I didn't think that we played <clears throat> as well as we have uh, certainly in the last couple of weeks. Um, for whatever reason, things were just a little bit off. First touches off, choices off. Uh, and give credit to Charlotte. They came in and they made it tough for us to do the things that we normally do and things that we uh, normally do well to create chances. I thought they made it difficult for us. And um, just overall, I didn't feel like we were as sharp or in sync as we have been. And we did make a number of changes and uh, different personnel and all that sort of thing. But uh, I would think that we would be able to um, handle all of that and and still be able to play the way that we normally play. Uh, and just for whatever reason, it was one of those nights where things just didn't quite go the way we wanted them to. All right, we'll start with Brendan Plowen, Denver Post. Hi, Coach. Thanks so much for the time tonight. Um, I saw you and Joshy shared a moment after full-time uh, you know, what was kind of the message for him then? And, you know, what were your thoughts on his debut? And uh, I'm also curious if the plan was to bring him on at the hour mark or if that deviated at all from maybe what you guys were initially thinking for tonight. Thank you. Uh, the plan was always to bring him on around that time. I wanted to get him about 25, 30 minutes, uh, get him <clears throat> familiar with the players around him and kind of used to what things would look like. Um, as it turns out, nothing tonight really looked like what things usually look like. Uh, so that was that was always the plan there. People always ask, what was said between such and such? And when two people speak in private, it generally stays in private. So uh, it was it was nothing. We were just chit chatting about the game and um, uh, certainly about his role and that sort of thing. It was really just. Uh, just really getting caught up on what happened in the game, what the game looked like, and uh, things that were maybe <clears throat> not as they normally are for us. And there was a third question. What was the third question? Jesse's debut. It was great. I mean, I'm so excited to have him. Uh, he's an incredibly hard worker. He fits in. I feel like he's a Colorado Rapids player through and through. He's unselfish. He works extremely hard. He's very team-oriented. Uh, he's a very good person, uh, and I really feel like he's going to be very, very good for us because I think he is he's our people. Turn to Vinny Bandero, Denver Gazette. Uh, uh, Robin, what can you tell us about uh, Jack's injury, and do you feel like that impacted the way you guys played uh, in the second half? Um, yeah, he's got a little hamstring issue. Don't really know how bad it is. I haven't spoken to the trainers after the game. Um, but it certainly, I think, would affect us. I, we have four guys probably who play that role, and they're all very good. Uh, and they have different skill sets that when you put them together, it makes for a really solid middle of the midfield. But I think certainly with Jack, there is just a, a comfort level with everyone having him around all the time uh, that when he's gone, it, there is an adjustment. Uh, I thought Colin did really well. And, um, you know, it, it, it's one of those things where you just lose a little bit of continuity if you lose somebody who's in there all the time and everyone's pretty used to playing with Jack and – Jack does a lot of reading off the others, and it's just, it's been, we've been in a pretty good rhythm in terms of guys playing, and uh, tonight it felt like with Danny out, Jack getting hurt, it definitely felt like things were changed up a little bit. Lucas nursing an injury, uh, it just felt like we were a little bit disjointed tonight. Got Matt Pollard, last word on soccer. Hey Robin, thanks for the time. It kind of seemed to me like the you know the team starts well. Rubio hits the post a couple times, and then Charlotte kind of grows into the game. And then the second half was um, you know a little back and forth. You know, what did you see? What was Charlotte doing gradually grow into the game? What did you want the team to do? What more could the team have done to kind of you know take the the game by the reins in the second half? Um, I thought Charlotte did a decent job of getting pressure early which affected our ability to start attacks effectively um, 
and I thought that <clears throat> they grew into the game. They started to get more possession. We we weren't quite as um, solid and, and dense defensively as we needed to be. And they were able to find some room and find some space and time um, and certainly were able to keep put us under pressure and keep us under pressure for stretches in the second half. Uh, and, you know, in terms of what I would like to have seen us do is be able to move the ball quicker. Uh, when you play against uh, a diamond, they very much collapse on the ball once it goes wide. And we needed to do a better job of getting the ball off one side into the other side and making them chase side to side a bit more, which would have allowed us the opportunity to set up more attacks. Got Brian Jennings bearing the wave. Evening, Robin. Thanks as always, man. Sure, um, thanks, Brian. You kind of mentioned a little bit, but that second half, you know, it started with a, a few nervy minutes. Uh, a couple, honestly, a couple of worldies from Will. Um, how did you like, or you know, what did you think of the way the guys kind of rode that out and reacted into to, you know to the meat of the second half, uh, kind of as a whole. Uh, I mean, I thought we were resolute in the end in our final last ditch defending. Um, but we would certainly prefer to be more solid defensively all the way from the front through the midfield and into the back and not have to rely upon emergency defending. And part of that, too, came from some of our turnovers uh, in our half to start the second half. And, uh, you know, going back to the question before, what could we have done better? I think we just need to take care of the ball more. And if we'd have taken care of the ball more, they don't win the ball in certain spots where some of these harrowing moments occur. So, um, yeah, again, it's a twofold thing. They did a good job of getting pressure to us, and we didn't do as good a job of getting out of the pressure as we normally do. Thank you. Thank you. Go back to Vinny. No, uh, Diego's a really good soccer player, and he's a really good attacking mind. And <clears throat> to get Jassy in is just another very good and potent attacking player. And we have this, this complement of, of attacking guys who all have different skill sets to some extent, and it's just a matter of putting it all together and making sure that we uh, figure out the right combination to get the, the best players on the field. Back to Matt. Uh, Robin Gustavo Baezia with his first start. Um, your thoughts on his performance in Danny Wilson's stead. Thank you. Yeah, I thought uh, Gustavo grew into the game early on. Um, obviously, he's not as comfortable in starting attacks in our system and with our players as Danny is. And But I thought as the game wore on, you really started to see some of what he could do in terms of carrying the ball out, starting attacks that way, some switches of play under a great deal of pressure, uh, showed a, a good range of passing, and um, defensively he did well and ran some things down, and uh, he's he's got a bright future. This is a very good young player who uh, I think is going to be really good for us. Hi, Robin. Um just tonight, going back to Jossie a little bit, uh, he obviously knows a thing or two about success just in his time with uh, the crew and uh, various honors that he's been given in his time there. And obviously, we've had a great turnover in the past couple of years in your stead, um, becoming a more successful team, obviously top of the West last season. How do you think he's going to really gel into that kind of method and in success that you've built here with with all the all the other guys uh good question sydney uh i think i really do think as i said before that he's very much a colorado rapids type of player because we want players who are unselfish and willing to work hard for others and willing to work hard for the team and this is one thing that Jossie has been his whole career incredibly hard worker incredibly unselfish um, and because of it, he's had a lot of success. 
Uh, he's been on very successful teams. He's been uh, with the national team. He's won a lot with the national team. He is, for his level of success, he is about as humble a person as I could imagine him to be. And because of that, I think the root of the question was, how is he going to gel with the team? Because of that, I think he's going to be very good for us because he's, he's unselfish and he works extremely hard and he's talented. So I feel like uh, he's a, a really big addition for us. And uh, I certainly think it's going to be very, very beneficial for us uh, to have him here. Go ahead, Matt, to follow up. Robin, last one for me. You know, Diego hits two posts. Those are off by a few inches. These, we might be talking about a 2-0 score line at halftime. Are you still encouraged by what the team's done in terms of creating chances? Are you frustrated? And I realize your answer and outlook on this question uh, might be different depending on how quickly Giassi gets up to speed. Um, yeah, I think Diego's hit the post four times in the last two games. Um, and it's... You can definitely feel snake bitten a bit. Um, you know, I didn't think we were great against Minnesota, but we had that stretch that we were really, really good and really dangerous. Um, certainly, if one of those goes in, maybe the mood this week is different. And just like tonight, if one of those goes in early, uh, maybe the feeling is a little bit different. But the fact of the matter is that they didn't go in, and we are looking at results that we feel like could and should be better. Um but I'm, I'm intrigued, and I am, uh, I'm happy with the fact that we do create chances, and we create some good chances. Um, you know, tonight is more feeling about not having control of the game like we normally feel like we have had control. Uh, so there's some disappointment there, but I'm extremely pleased with the fact that. We are creating chances. We're creating really, really good chances. And you, sometimes you go through stages like this where you feel like you're doing a lot of things well, but you don't quite get everything you need out of those, those moments when you do things well. And um, you know, I think that's, that's a little bit of where we are now. Uh, tonight was a little bit different because I just didn't feel like we were as sharp, lost more balls, turned over more balls maybe than we normally do, didn't do some of the things that we have done to continuously set up chances. But in spite of all that, we had a couple of really good chances tonight. And like you said, if those go in, maybe it's a different feeling right now.